Ano nga ba yung polar molecules? Ano yung difference ng polar at non-polar bond? At paano mo malalaman yung polarity ng isang chemical bonding? The bonding of one atom in another atom. Paano mo malalaman yung polarity nito? At paano ito nag-share, nag-attract ng kanilang electrons? Alamin po natin yan sa video ito. Good day! Welcome to Sir Fox Learning Channel. For today's video, pag-aaralan po natin yung polarity ng molecules and its properties. Samahan nyo pa akong panuorin ang video ito. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons for grade 11 senior high school or grade 11 distance learners or senior high school rather. Okay? Happy learning everyone! Polarity of molecules. Our learning target for this lesson is to differentiate polar and non-polar bonds. Determine the polarity of chemical bonds between atoms using concept of electronegativity. Familiarize with the different shapes of molecules and explain how polarity of bonds and molecular geometry affects the polarity of molecules. What are polar bonds and polar molecules? When we say polar bond, it is a covalent bond between two atoms where the electrons forming the bond are unequally distributed. Take note for that. Polar bonds, a covalent bond between two atoms. For instance, uh, hydrogen and chlorine. There is two atom. One is hydrogen, chlorine is another atom, where the electrons forming the bond are unequally distributed. Electrons of hydrogen, of course, is unequal with the chlorine. That's a polar bond. However, when we say polar molecule, it is a chemical species in which the distribution of electrons between the covalently bonded atoms is not even. Pares lang din. Polar bond, polar molecule. Polar and non-polar bonds. Let's determine how polar bonds are and what are, how about non-polar bonds. There are two types of covalent bond. The non-polar covalent bond, which means equal sharing of electrons, and the polar covalent bond, which means unequal share of electrons. Take note for the two. Take note for the two types of covalent bond. Non-polar covalent, equal sharing of electrons. Polar covalent, unequal sharing of electrons. For example, just think of uh, tug of war tug of war tama ba tug of war yeah so what can you say on the given picture here is it a non-polar or polar bond if the strength 
of each individual here refers to their electron. Can, pwede ba nating masabi na ito po ay equal equal sharing of electrons if electrons is equal to their uh, strength or unequal sharing of electrons if electron refers to their strength. So group A combined with boy and girl, group B, two boys. So if their strength is equal to the electron, what could what can we say? Is this a polar or nonpolar covalent bond? If their strength is equal to the is the electron, most probably pwede nating sabihin na ito ay polar. Kasi kung ang for ang strength nila is the electron, syempre, different yung strength ng girl sa boy. Pero kung number of individual ang pag-uusapan po natin lang, kumbaga, yung electron refers to the number of individual on the tag of war, probably, this is non-polar. Pero kung ang pag-uusapan po natin, their strength is equal to the electron, definitely, ito ay polar. Are you following? I hope so. A polar covalent bond is unequal sharing of electrons as stated a while ago. Between two atoms, example, hydrogen and chlorine. If you can still remember on your junior high school, about electron configuration, these atoms, the, the hydrogen atom and chlorine at, atom, probably different numbers of electrons. And hydrogen has only one. However, chlorine, if I'm not mistaken, seven. So if, if these two electrons will share uh, if these two atoms will share electrons, unequal sharing. Why? Siyempre, isa lang yung electron ni hydrogen at anim naman or pito naman si chlorine. In a polar covalent bond, one atom typically has a negative charge. And the other atom has a positive charge. So, dyan nagkakaroon ng attraction, positive and negative. Hindi kasi pwedeng both yung kanilang charges. Dito sa example po natin, si hydrogen is positive atom, si chlorine is negative atom. Sa previous lessons ninyo sa chemistry, si positive is the giver, taga-accept naman, taga-receive naman si negative. In a polar covalent bond, as it says here, one atom typically has negative charge and the other atom has a positive charge. For instance, here you have a hydrogen atom and bromine atom, which is negatively charged and the hydrogen is positively charged. And definitely, since they are opposite, they have opposite charges, definitely, these two atoms will attract to form a bond. If we will demonstrate these atoms, it probably look like this. On a tag of war. So you will notice if, if the persons here, as, why, as what I've said a while ago, refers to the number of electrons this will serve as the number uh, uh this this will serve as a nucleus of hydrogen a eh, hydrogen diba isa lang ang kanyang electron isa lang ang kanyang proton okay sabi nating sa ano ito yung nucleus ng hydrogen ano ba yung laman ng nucleus ng hydrogen ano ang laman ng nucleus ng hydrogen is one proton and one neutron 
So, let's say here, ito. Ito naman yung laman ng nucleus ni bromine. So, nagkaroon sila ng attraction. Na-attract sila sa isa't isa. So, happened, ang pwede lang ma-share ni hydrogen is one. However, si bromine is pwede siyang mag-share ng pito para maging stable sila. Para mag-form, mag-bond. For instance, pag sinabi naman po nating non-polar, a non-polar covalent bond is an equal sharing of electrons between two atoms. Equal yung sharing nila. Walang labis, walang kulang. So, let's say here, chlorine to chlorine, nitrogen, nitrogen to nitrogen, oxygen to oxygen to, to form it oxide, to form it chloride and nitride. Okay? So, we'll, we'll look like this picture. We'll look like that picture. Or this. Oh, agawan ng boyfriend. Here are some examples of ionic bond, covalent, and polar covalent. Notice here, ionic bond shares unequal sharing. Covalent, equal sharing. And the polar covalent, partially equal sharing. Let's talk about the classification of bonds. You can determine the type of bond between two atoms by calculating the difference in electronegativity values between the elements. So, pwede mo ma-determine yung type of bond. So, if it is covalent, ay, uh, ionic, etc., etc., by calculating the difference of its electronegativity values between the elements. Ano ba yung electronegativity? Yung electronegativity, makikita po natin yan, sa bawat atom ay mayroon po silang electronegativity. On the upper right side of your periodic table, you, you will see there the electronegativity of each atom. That's why, if you could have, you must have an periodic table. The bigger the electronegativity difference, the more polar the bond. So, here are the different types of bond, the non-polar, covalent, polar, covalent, and ionic. The electronegativity difference of non-polar covalent is between 0 to 0 0.4. Non-polar, 0 to 0 0.4. Polar covalent, ang electronegativity difference nila is 0 0.5 to 1.9. Ionic bond, ang electronegativity difference is 2.0 to 4. Okay? So how to determine the, electro, uh, the type of bond? By calculating the difference. Ano ba yung difference? You will subtract their electronegativities. Then from it, from there, pwede mo nang i-determine kung yan ay non-polar, polar, or ionic. Balikan natin yung kanina. Ito. Ionic. This this how ionic looks like. Covalent or covalent, depende kung saan ano ka eh. And polar covalent or covalent. I used to say it covalent. Now, let us have this. What type of bond is hydrochloride? HCl, can you still remember naming of... Naming of chemical formulas 
HCl is hydrochloride. What type of bond yung hydrochloride? Ang electronegativity ng hydrogen is 2.0. Ang chlorine is 3.1. Sa, sir, saan po makikita to? Itong 2.1 and 3.0. Saan po makikita? Makikita po yan sa upper right side ng bawat atom. Ni hydrogen, kung si hydrogen, ni chlorine, kung si chlorine. Nasa upper right side po yan. Nakasulat may, may specified naman po yan doon na nakalagay na electronegativity. So, the difference of their electronegativity is 1.0. Kasi 3.1 minus 2.1 is equal to 1.0. Therefore, this is a polar covalent band. Paano ulit yung polar covalent band? Balikan ulit natin. 0 0.5 to 1.9, nonpolar 0, 0 to 1 uh, to 0 0.4, ionic 2 to 4. Okay? It's your turn. If you have the band of nitrogen and hydrogen and hydrogen and hydrogen and then calcium and chlorine calcium chloride what will be or what type of band this represents so 3.0 minus 2.1 is equal to 2.1 and 2.1 is equal to you can type your answer on the comment section okay type your answer on the comment section what type of band are the are these or what type of band, uh, bands are these? And then, aluminum and chlorine, magnesium and oxygen, hydrogen and uh, fluorine. That's it. So you can, you, you could type your answers on the comment section. Now, how to show a band if it is polar, isn't a whole charge just a, a partial charge? Dito sa baba, ito po ay ibig pong sabihin, let's say this is a partially positive and this is a partially negative. Ang tendency, sharer. May word bang sharer? Tagapagbigay, mapagbigay si positive kay negative lagi. Lagi niyang pinagbibigyan si negative. That's why your arrow here, kung paano sila nag, nag paano sila nag uh, interact paano sila nagbabond, nagsishare ng electron. So usually, ang magsishare dito lagi ay si positive by as what the arrow point, pointing. So you have here that two, ta two atoms, hydrogen is less electronegative, and the chlorine is more electronegative. In this example, the bonding of two atoms, you will see here that the chlorine, as what I've said a while ago, pulls harder on the electron. Inahatak niya si yung electron ni hydrogen. The, the, the electrons spend more time near the chlorine.
Pag sinabi naman po natin polar molecules, these are molecules with a positive and negative end. So polar molecules, molecules with positive and negative end. It requires two things to be true. The molecular must contain polar bonds, which means this can be determined from differences in electronegativity. Okay? And then, asymmetric molecule. These are the symmetry and asymmetric molecules of polar and nonpolar. So we will see here a polar molecule. This is a polar as well and nonpolar molecules. Tingnan po natin, ano nga ba yung symmetry and asymmetry? Because of symmetry, molecules that have polar bonds are overall in nonpolar molecules. Positive and negative charges can seal out or balance out. Examples. Ayan. Carbon dioxide. Ang sabi dyan, yung polar bond in overall nagiging non-polar molecules dahil nagka-cancel out yung kanilang o nagbabalance out yung kanilang ano yung kanilang sharing of electrons another thing is the car uh, carbon chloride showing a nonpolar molecules and B is boron however in asymmetrical molecules these are molecules which has polar bonds and there is no symmetry to cancel out. So, yung mga asymmetrical, walang symmetry na pwede mag-cancel out. The molecule e, and these molecules are polar. Example, water. So, you will see here, yung kanyang ano, bonding, symmetrical. Walang nagka-cancel out. Yan o. And this one. Molecule has polar bonds. There is no symmetry to cancel out. Ano ba yung difference? Kanina. Tingnan mo yung kanina. Balance. Kapag non-polar molecules, ang sharing ng kanilang electrons is balance. Okay? Balance yung sharing ng electrons. Take, note, take a look with the examples. Walang naiwan. Walang na-cancel out. Balance. I, if, I, I think Naintindihan nyo ako dahil nag-chemical balancing po kayo. Hopefully. Okay? However, sa symmetrical, which refers to a polar molecule, ito sila. May mga naiwan sa laylayan. Yan mo. Meron pang bakante dito. Pwede pa sana itong i-share. Kaso wala na eh. Hindi na kaya eh. Hindi na kinaya. At unbalanced yung sharing. Di ba? 
Ito may dalawa, ito isa lang. Tigi isa, tigi isa, tigi isa. Pero dito dalawa. Ganon din dito. May dalawang electron dito. Sa Lewis structure, can you still remember the Lewis structure? May dalawa. Okay, may dalawa dito, may dalawa dito, may dalit. At pagdating dito, isa lang. So, yung, yung sharing is unbalanced. So, asymmetrical. That's how asymmetrical atoms are. A dipole happens when there is an equal sharing of the electron. A dipole exists. A dipole is a molecule that has two poles or regions with opposite charges. And represented by a by an arrow or dipole arrow pointing towards the more negative end. So representing towards the more negative end. So kanina yung hydrogen at saka chlorine dipole. Bakit? Yung arrow niya pointing towards the more negative which is chlorine. Ayan, hydrogen and fluorine. Hydrogen is less negative kasi positively charged ang hydrogen. Fluorine is more negative kasi negatively charged ang fluorine. And therefore, they are here pointing towards the more negative. So, dipoles of carbon dioxide. You will see here Wala siyang dipole. Bakit? Equal yung sharing. Di ba? Ito kaya? May dipole ba? Meron. Pointing towards the more negative which is oxygen. Ito cancel out. Ang kanyang ano? Nagka-cancel out. Ibig sabihin balance yung kanyang sharing of electrons. Kaya may dipole. <clears throat> Let us have here the bond type, molecular shape, and molecular type. Water, ang bond type niya is polar covalent with the shape of its molecular shape, ito. And yung molecular type niya is polar. Band type, polar, uh, polar covalent band, molecular type, polar, molecular, polar. Methane, <clears throat> non-polar covalent. Ito po yung kanyang molecular shape ng methane. Looks like this. And this is non-polar, yung kanyang molecular type. Carbon dioxide is, is a polar covalent. Linear yung kanyang molecular shape. Equal sharing. Cancel out yung kanyang electrons. And this is a nonpolar molecular type. Okay? Let's have a practice drawing of dipoles. So example here, the P, ano ba yung P? Phosphorus and bromine or phosphate. So, ang electronegativity ng, ng P is 2.1, bromine is 2.8. So, ito yung kanyang dipole sharing. Pointing towards the more negative. Okay? So, here are your practice, self-practice. You can also, hindi uh, mo naman pwedeng i- Drawing sa comment section. Hopefully you can. <laughs> so practice, self-practice. Now, let us have this example. Is this for? Uh, is this? Is it polar? Another practice for you to have. 
Is it polar? You can comment down your uh, your answer below in the comment section. To summarize, in a polar bond, one atom is more electronegative than the other. In a nonpolar bond, both atoms have similar electronegativities. An asymmetric molecule with polar bonds is a polar molecule. Take note for that. An asymmetric molecule with polar bonds is a polar molecule. An asymmetric molecule with nonpolar bonds is a nonpolar molecule. Directly proportional. An asymmetric, I mean, a symmetric molecule, regardless of the polarity of bonds, is always nonpolar molecules, asymmetric molecules. Okay? So let's talk about the properties of molecules based on its polarity. Let's here in this, let's define the solubility, miscibility, and polarity. Identify the different types of intermolecular forces in attraction and explain how polarity of molecules related to its properties. Take note that a phase is a homogeneous part of a system in contact with other parts of the system but separated from them by a well-defined boundary. Here you have a two phases, solid phase, which is ice, and liquid phase is water. So let's say here is this is a juice, which is napaka-significant ngayon dahil summer. Okay? Ang juice... I may solid phase na ice and liquid phase na water. Below, the table represents the characteristics or characteristic properties of gas, liquid, and solid. State of matter, solid, liquid, gas, the volume shape, density, compressibility, and motion of molecules. Okay? In intermolecular forces are attractive forces between molecules. So, yung at, pag sinabing intermolecular forces, forces, intermolecular forces, dito po ay pag-usapan po natin, paano nga ba nagkaroon ng attractions yung mga molecules? Okay? Paano nga ba sila nagbumuo, nakabuo ng panibagong molecules? Paano sila nag-interact, nag-attract? Paano na-attract, nag-share? Okay? Intramolecular forces, however, holds atoms together in a molecule. So take note, ha? Si intermolecular forces attracts or attractive forces. Si intramolecular forces holds together in an, an atom. So, hindi bumibitaw si intramolecular. Si intermolecular, masyadong attractive. Tingnan natin, bumibitaw kaya o hindi bumibitaw. So, let's compare intermolecular versus intramolecular. Kung si intermolecular at si intramolecular ay ang boyfriend mo, Sino kaya ang nanaisin mo? Si intermolecular? Attractive daw ito si intermolecular. Pero si intramolecular, nag-hold. Stick to one. Faithful. Natin. Sino yung gugustuhin mo kaya? Example, 41 kilojoules to vaporize one mole of water. That's an enter. Why? Nag-attract yung 41 kilojoules of kilojoules will vaporize one mole of water. So, nag-attract. 930 kilojoules to break 
all hydroxide bonds in one mole of water. So this is intra. So kasi nag mag probably ang tendency po dito is to hold the atoms. In other words, pag sinabi po natin intermolecular and intramolecular, si intermolecular forces ay weak weak napaka weak kasi attractive nga siya. Eh. It could attract any forces from its surroundings. However, si intramolecular forces holds. So ano nga ba yung mga measures ng intermolecular forces? The boiling point, the melting point, and the change of hydrogen vapor and fusion, etc. Types of intermolecular forces. First is the hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond is a special dipole-dipole interaction between the hydrogen atom in a polar bond and electronegative atoms. So let us have here the examples of the bond, the different bond of hydroxide and hydrogen and oxygen. In nitrogen and ox, uh, hydrogen, etc. I put it it is not a bond. It is a special dipole dipole interaction between hydrogen atom in a polar bond and electronegative or uh, fluorine atom. Ayan po yung banting. Now, that's how it looks. Therefore, the hydrogen bond considered as a special dipole-dipole interaction. It decreases its smaller mass and its boiling point. Another type of intermolecular forces is ion dipole forces. Attractive forces between an ion and polar molecule. So example here, this is ion dipole forces. Ayan. Okay. Ion dipole forces. We'll share one. So it's a positive will attract here on the negative side. The negative here will attract it here on the positive side. This is a weak interaction and this is a strong interaction. Nitrogen. And the magnesium, a uh, sodium, probably was it weak? Kasi si sodium isa lang yung isishare niya dito. If you can still remember, Lewis structure, isa lang yung sobra ni nitrogen. Ito definitely dalawa. Kaya strong yung interaction nila. Equal yung sharing. Dipole-dipole forces, another type of intermolecular forces. Attractive forces between polar molecules. So, orientation of dipole-dipole forces. Ayan po. Showing how it looks like. That's how dipole-dipole forces. Another type of intermolecular forces is dispersion forces or Van der Waal forces or London forces. Attract, it is an attractive force that arise as a result of temporary dipole induced in atoms or molecules. So dito makikita po natin yung ion-induced dipole interaction. Ion, 
induce dipole interaction. Ito naman, dipole, di, uh, induced dipole interaction. So ito, ion induced dipole. Ito naman, dipole induce another dipole interaction. So that is a dispersion forces or London forces. Just, just showing you as one of the type of intermolecular forces. Don't you worry, you are not chemist, just showing. Hopefully, you will learn or you are learning. So, dispersion forces, con uh, in continuation, the polar polarizability is the ease with which the electron distribution in the atom or molecules can be distorted. Polarizability increase with ayan, greater number of electrons, more diffuse electrons, electron, electron cloud. In other words, the forces in dispersion uh, usually increase with molar mass. Okay? Nangyari dito, ayan. Okay, it's your turn. What type of intermolecular forces exist between each of the following? Ano kayang intermolecular forces meron ng mga to? The first one is a polar molecule. A dipole-dipole forces. There are also the dispersion forces between hydrogen bromide molecules. Non-polar naman yung isa, yung, I think this ammonia, and another one is yeah, a polar molecule. So let's talk about the properties of liquid. You have the surface tension, which refers to the amount of energy required to strength or increase the surface of a liquid by a unit area. A strong intermolecular forces happens and high surface tension. Cohesion as a property of liquid is the intermolecular attraction between like molecules. Adhesion is an attraction between unlike molecules. However, the viscosity is a measure of fluids resistance to flow. This is a this is one of the property of liquid. Strong molecular forces and high molecular forces. Okay? The maximum density ice is less dense. Water is denser than the ice. A crystalline solid possesses rigid and long-range order. In a crystalline solid atoms, molecules or ions occupy specific predictable position. For instance, an amorphous solid does not possess a well-defined arrangement and, no, and long-range molecular order. A unit cell is the basic repeating structure unit of a crystalline solid. These are the seven types of unit cell. Simple cubic, tetragonal, or uh, orthorhombic, rhombohedral, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal. Seven types of unit cell. Three types of cubic cells. The simple cubic, body-centered cubic here, and the face-centered cubic. Types of crystals. Cesium chloride, zinc sulfide, uh, calcium fluoride. Okay. Uh, 
Another type of crystal is covalent crystal, stronger than intermolecular forces, but generally weaker than ion ion. And the molecular crystal, which lattice points occupied by molecules held together by intermolecular forces, so low melting point, poor conductor of heat and electricity. And metallic crystal, typically weaker than covalent, but can be in the low end of covalent. All right. All right. Then all right. The an amorphous solid does not possess a well-defined arrangement and long-range molecular order. A glass, for instance, is an optically transparent fusion of inorganic materials that has cooled to rigid state without crystallizing. So the different types of crystals stated below. Okay. The phase change, I think later, madidiscuss din po natin yan sa next lesson. Ayan. Equilibrium vapor pressure measured when dynamic equilibrium exists between condensation and evaporation. Ayan. The boiling point is the temperature at which the equilibrium vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to external pressure. So the space change, the melting, and the freezing point. Molar heat fusion. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's all for now. Hopefully, this will help to the distance learners who are taking physical science. Happy learning. Thank you for watching this video. Another important lessons for physical science and hopefully nakatulong po ito sa ating mga sing, uh, grade 11 distance learners who are taking physical science. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on and like, comment if you, could, if you have relatives, friends who are having the subject physical science for grade 11, share this video to, your, to, to their group chats or Facebooks para makatulong. Lalo na po ngayon, enhanced community quarantine. Okay? Thank you for watching. Happy life.